Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a makeup tutorial for you. Um, if you, those of you that follow me on Instagram saw that I posted a picture about a week or so ago. Um, I was going to my friend's wedding and I did my makeup and I showed, I shared a makeup of the day um, on my Instagram. So those of you that saw that look, um, that's what I'll be doing today. And this is actually for my friend Lexi. Um, she's my best friend in the whole wide world and she asked me over and over again to do an eye makeup tutorial for this. So I did like the eye makeup tutorial as well as what I use on my lips as well. So just keep watching and we'll see how I get this look. Guys, so I'm going to be using my Lorac Ultra Ego Heartbreaker palette for this. And I already have a full piece of makeup on, um, blush, bronzer, all that. And I'm just going to be doing my eyes and my lips for you guys today. And singing, I guess, too. <laughs> so the first shade I'll be using is the one on the far left. It's the matte brown shade. I'll be using that in my crease. Well, actually, I'll be using it slightly above my natural crease because I have slightly hooded eyes. And I'm going to be using this small blending brush from e.l.f. This is a dollar at the e.l.f. store. Um, you can probably find it at Walmart as well, and I'll link it down below for you guys. So I'm just going to be blending this into um, the area right above my crease just to open my eyes up a little bit more because I do have slightly hooded eyes, um, so you wouldn't even see it in my natural crease anyways. The next shade I'll be using is this pink one right next to the matte brown one. I'll be placing this on the inner corner of my eyes just to give it a more youthful, awake look. Um, and I'm packing these shades on. I'm not actually blending it in. I'm just kind of packing it on because I do plan on going back in a few minutes and blending the rest of that out with a blending brush or a crease brush. next shade I'll be using is this purple shade right next to the pink one. We'll be putting that in the center of our lids. Um, just packing it on, like I said, because I'm going to blend it out later into like a gradient effect. So it's going to be perfect. Just pack it on there. Make it be sloppy. It doesn't matter. And the good thing about the shadow is, is that there's like almost no fallout at all. So it's perfect. The next shade I'll be using is this shimmery dark brown color. I'll be placing that on the outer corners of my eyes um, just to give the great effect that I was telling you about earlier. And I'll slightly be blending that up a little bit into my crease. Then going back in with that same matte brown shade from earlier, we'll be using that to blend the colors into the crease a little bit more. Um, it's basically just going to be a transition shade. Then I'll be taking this crease brush that I told you about earlier and I'm going to blend all the colors out a little bit more just to smooth it out and take away all the harsh lines. And then with the small brush again, I'm going to go back in with the highlighter shade. It's the white shimmery one on the right side of the palette. I'm using that um, just underneath the um, eyebrow and on the brow bone. And more singing. <laughs> and now we're taking this Essence Gel Liner um, and this angled brush just to go ahead and apply some eyeliner. I personally prefer using gel liner these days over a liquid liner. I feel like I have more control. It's more precise. It's more sharp. And honestly, this gel liner from Essence is amazing. It is, it's just budge proof. It will not come off at all for anything. I love it. And it's only like $2 at Ulta, so go get you some and try it out. I'm sure you'll like it. Also, if you have um, mascara or um, eyeliner that gets on your skin, um, just let it dry and take a Q-tip and wipe it off. It'll come right off and it won't even mess up your makeup at all. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, putting on eyeliner always takes the absolute longest for me. It's just like, I don't know why, I just take forever to put on eyeliner. And then next, I'll be using just some black waterproof mascara. This is um, an e.l.f. brand mascara. I'm not sure even which one it is, but I'm going to put, put um, a pretty good coat of that on my eyelashes just to help blend with my falsies that I'm about to put on in a few minutes. Just stop here if you wanted to, but personally, I prefer wearing some falsies as well, so that's what I'll be doing. For this, I'll be using some Duo Lash, uh, lash Glue. It'll be the clear kind. It dries clear. And I usually like to pull my phone out and time myself. I give myself one whole minute after I apply the lash glue to the lash band just to let it dry and get tacky. That way, um, whenever I place it on my lid, it just kind of sticks instead of sliding around. And the little tweezers that I just showed you, I got those from Ulta. They were like $12 and they're actually the Ulta brand lash placement tools. So yeah, I would recommend using those. They really help a whole lot. So we're gonna wait a whole minute and let it dry. And then we'll go ahead and apply these. Oh, and let's see, that's for you. I know that you said that you were not too fond of the idea of me gauging my ears, but that's how they look right now. They don't look that bad, do they? I love you. So we got one lash on and one to go. Again, I'll just be applying the lash glue to the lash band and letting it wait for a whole minute and then I'll actually apply it to my lid. Try to get it as close to the natural lash line as possible if you're going to be using these and you're not really familiar with using falsies. Definitely try to get it as close to your natural lash line as possible so it won't look as obvious that you have falsies on. And I'm jamming out some more. <laughs> so now we'll just be taking this e.l.f. Um, lip liner in the shade Mauve Lux. This is the e.l.f. Essentials lip liner. It's only a dollar at the e.l.f. store or at Walmart. Um, it's a really beautiful nude pinky color, if that's what you're looking for. Um, it's kind of like your lips fit better. So, what we'll be doing here is we'll be lining the lip, the natural lip, and then we'll be filling in the outer corners of the lips. This is so we can have like an ombre finish with our lips so it makes them look more full and more defined. Next, we'll be using this Wet n Wild lipstick. It, I can't remember what the shade is, but it's a really beautiful nude pink color. Um, this is only a couple of dollars at Walmart, and I fell in love as soon as I saw it. I just had to get this. I don't remember what it's called, but I will link it down below for you guys so that you can get it yourselves because it really is gorgeous. Like, the camera does not do it justice. <laughs> And 
and then we'll be applying some Revlon lip gloss over top of that. Again, I don't know what the color is. Um, I think it's like pink candy or something like that, but I'll link it down below for you guys as well because I don't remember. I really don't. Just give it a nice, beautiful, glossy finish and to pull it all together. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more any more tutorials like this, then give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on all of my social media. I post updates all the time about what I'll be doing next, and I definitely would love to hear back from you guys about what you want to see from me next. Um, I'm not going to be doing all makeup stuff. I do want to plan on doing other things for the videos that I'll be doing for my channel, but right now it's just easiest to do makeup because that's what I have on hand, and I really love makeup, obviously, and I wear it every day anyway, so... Anyway, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!